Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's NanoDestro777, and we're back inside of Destiny with a fun way for you to take advantage of those shiny new broom sparrows of yours. So, with the Festival of the Lost just starting up and the Lost Broom dropping, the thing that you can go pick up down in the Tower Hangar bar area, I thought, why not make a fun game type with it during Festival of the Lost? And you guessed it. Quidditch, that's right, Quidditch in Destiny. It's a fun way for you to mess around in the Crucible with a bunch of friends while the Festival of the Lost is going around, uh, and how to make the most of the Broomstick Sparrow experience while it is here. The setup is incredibly simple. We did this for about an hour and a half after doing some raiding last night to kind of just blow off some steam and have some fun. And it was a blast. The rules are not really that complex, um, but I'm gonna show you how to set up everything and how to do the positions and how to tell everyone what to do so you can have a lot of fun doing Quidditch in Destiny. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to go to private matches and then select the Rift game type. You can then have 2 to 12 players in the game type, but I think it would work best as a 6v6 Rift game. Next up is the most important thing. Since you're going to be on your Broom Sparrows for the most part, you have to play on a map that allows vehicles to be used. That would include Bastion, Sky Shock, and First Light. For our money, when we were playing, we tried a number of the different maps. First Light is the best choice, that's, so that's the thing that you're going to see the most uh, gameplay of. You could use the other maps, but I'm going to show you why I think First Light is the best choice. Next, set up the point system to be high. We actually did the maximum amount of points. This way, the people in the game have to go and try and get the spark and put it in the rift. The spark is essentially acting as the golden snitch here. If you have no idea what Quidditch is, highly recommend you either check out a Harry Potter book or, you know, look up Quidditch <laughs> uh, on the internet. But basically, it forces you to play the Rift game type instead of just trying to get kills. Set the time to a very small amount of time. I set it to seven minutes so that the game isn't very long and so that it keeps the pressure on the players to try and push to get that spark. Next up, let's cover the positions that you're going to have here. Most importantly, you're going to need to have a Seeker. The rules for this role are probably the most movement oriented. You are the only one on your team who can actually grab the spark and engage with it. However, you can only use a broomstick sparrow and you cannot attack at any time unless if the other team has the spark. You can't use any other vehicles, and we'll talk a little bit more about the other vehicles in First Light when we get there. Because of the way that the Rift game type is set up, you have to get off your Sparrow to actually pick up the Spark. You are allowed to do this, but you have to be in a certain area. For us, when we did this in First Light, it was the building where the Spark essentially uh, comes up and spawns. You are allowed to move off your broom or on your broom, but when you get the spark, you must only move with the broom. You instantly have to have your uh, ghost out and you have to be on your sparrow. And then you cannot attack at any time and you have to go through the rift on your sparrow. If the other team happens to get the spark, again, the seeker can use the weapons to try and take down the other seeker. So they're essentially with the head person that is in the game because they're going to be running the spark. Next up, let's talk about the chasers. The chasers have a group of different rules, and they're kind of like the default position if you are not the seeker. The chasers can attack at any time, but to move around on the map, they must be using a broomstick sparrow. They obviously can aim and look around the map. They don't have to be on a sparrow to do that. But the idea is that they can only use broomsticks to move around the map. They can't use a vehicle or anything else like that. After that is probably what I think that my team thought was the most fun role, and that was the beater. This is the reason why we liked First Light for this map, and we'll explain that a little bit later and for this game type. There are a number of heavy pikes in First Light and an interceptor on the moon. The beaters have a simple rule. They have to grab a vehicle and they have to stay on the vehicle at all times, but they can attack at any time that they want. If they are killed and they do not have a vehicle to go into, they essentially turn into chasers. This is a fun way to use the vehicles on First Light to engage in some sweet vehicle battles while under pressure to defend or to try and help the Seeker get the spark. 
Finally is the keeper position. The keeper does not have to be on a broom. They can move around to attack, but here's the kicker. They have to stay within kill range of the rift when it's active. In other words, they can't be super far away or in cover. They have to be by the spark when it happens. Otherwise, say for example, if your team has the spark and you are the keeper, you can actually get away from your rift because the rift won't be there and you'll actually be able to be a chaser in this point. Otherwise, you know, you essentially just act as a default chaser. So there you go. That's all there is to it. All you have to do is get the rift and try and get the most amount of points. Obviously, you're not going to be able to do this with kills. You are going to have to do it by running the rift game type. So essentially, it's a giant golden snitch race. It was an absolute blast to play this. And here's some footage of us doing this with a 3v3 group. And to be fair, it's some of the most fun I've had in Destiny on vehicles. Make sure you rotate roles within your fire team so that everyone gets a chance to try something different. Like I know, for example, uh, we had some people rotate being the seeker and then they went to beaters and chasers and things like that. It's a lot of fun when you get an opportunity to, to change it. And when you have seven minute matches, it's a lot easier to, you know, keep the games moving pretty quickly. Now, the only reason we didn't use the other maps in Destiny is because they didn't have the mobility that we liked or the open spaces or the vehicles that First Light provides. Bastion has too much general cover and there's a little bit of platforming in regards to how the rift works. And in Skyshock, to get the spark to the rift, you have to get off your sparrow. Um, and that's why for our money, First Light was the way to go. It's also mostly resembles a big round kind of arena that kind of reminds us a little bit of Quidditch. If you don't have six people on each team, just start to move positions around. Ideally, when I put this together, I thought about there being a 6v6 game. One person's a seeker, two people are chasers, two people are beaters, and one person is a keeper. But if, say for example, you only have 3v3, and you wanna do something like that, um, you know, have one seeker and have two uh, two beaters and just do stuff like that so you're having a lot of fun with it. Trust me, it is a blast. Here's some more gameplay of us uh, playing this last night. I'm gonna try and get a massive 6v6 gameplay uh, event going on tomorrow on my Twitch live stream, but I thought I'd share this with you in case you wanna share this with friends, maybe have some fun in the Crucible or in private matches uh, and just join in on the Festival of Lost while it's fun and to use these awesome broom sparrows while they're still around. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like something in this video, a positive rating is always greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or ideas for us on other ways that we could play this, leave them down in the description box below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Check out my Twitch live streams. Again, we're gonna try and get some Quidditch going tomorrow uh, in the Twitch live stream. Come check that out. And guys, I will see you next time in the universe of destiny.